everybody, this is Logan with Golden Thread Tarot. This is going to be a weekly reading for July 28th to August 3rd. I'm going to start with Pisces and go to Aries. I will pull five cards for the energy of your week and three cards for advice. Okay, starting with Pisces. Five cards for the energy for Pisces. The Well in Reverse, the Moon in Reverse, the Seven of Swords, the Four of Cups in Reverse, and the Death. The World and the Two of Pentacles. You're leaving the past behind, Pisces, okay? You have had a tough time filling your own well recently, right? You've had self-care has not been easy for you lately, right? This could be you overworking. This could be you stressing, right? But you are not letting outside circumstances get to you, right? You're not going to let your emotions bottle up right now because things have been under the surface that you know are there that you're finally looking at, right? There is an energy of like distrust within you right now of like, Mm, I have to watch my back. I don't know if I can trust certain people, right? Things are kind of like sketching me out a little bit, okay? I don't, you know, I don't know how I feel about this particular situation and I'm a little bit uncomfortable, right? So this is you kind of like sussing out this week, like who has your back, maybe who doesn't, who you can trust, who you can't, right? You're dropping the comparison of yourself to other people once and for all this week. You're like, you know what? I am so done and these two cards just reversed for me right where it's like you know you have to drop comparing yourself to other people. You know there's more for you out there, right? It's not a comparison, it's just the fact that there is more for you out there and you are aware of that, okay? And as hard as it is for you to drop this, you are going to end comparison to other people because if you don't, it's not gonna feel good, right? You're gonna constantly be thinking that you need to be somewhere other than you are, and it's easier said than done, of course, right? With like social media and things like that, it's very common for us to, you know, have an energy of comparison, and it's just not what we wanna have, right? So you're working really hard to end the comparison to other people, okay? That's a very big energy coming through here, and it could even be you. It could even be you that's kind of like this energy of like, am I good? Am I a good friend? Am I a good partner? Am I a good colleague, right? Do I throw other people under the bus? Do I gossip about other people? Am I trustworthy, right? So it's looking at our own ability to be trustworthy within our own lives too, okay? Three cards for the advice. Five of Swords in Reverse, Nine of Swords in Reverse, and the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Cups in Reverse again here. Yeah. Let yourself be overly emotional, right? For some of you, depending on your sex, you're going through your cycle, right? But stop the mentality of like winning at all costs, right? Winning, stop that. Stop feeling like everyone is kind of out to get you and stop stressing so much, right? You have some things going on right now and I think I, being alone, being alone, asking people for help, right? The five of pentacles can be us asking people for help if we need it, okay? So I think some of you guys need some help. And some of you guys have to stop stressing over things that you shouldn't be stressing about, right? And it's easier said than done, okay? But there are definitely some things coming up this week where you're like, I am stressing about this and I know I shouldn't be. You're not on your own. It's not just you against the world, right? It's not just you against the world. You have people there that can help you utilize your resources, okay? Utilize your resources. If you need help, ask for it. And you're stressing yourself out way too much right now, okay? All right, that's what I have for you, Pisces. Thanks. Bye-bye. Okay. Moving on to Aquarius. 
five cards for Aquarius. Two of Cups in reverse, the Three of Wands, the Queen of Cups, whoop, the Artist in reverse. We're going to take this out. The Ten of Cups and the Devil in reverse. You're trusting your intuition about something that didn't work and was not successful, even though it causes some stress in your mind, right? You're starting fresh new energy here, okay? Moving on, all right? There is an energy of love not working out here for you, right? With this two of cups in reverse, but we are moving on to bigger and brighter futures. We feel really good about ourselves, even if something did not work out on the home front, right? Even if, you know, our family, a relationship, something that we expected to come to fruition did not come to fruition, to come to fruition. And the devil in reverse, we're overcoming addictions, we're overcoming self-deprecation, we're overcoming the lack mindset, we're overcoming, we're, we're, we're not letting anything mess with us right now, okay? We're not. We're not letting anything mess with us right now. We know better than that, okay? We, the two biggest cards here are the three of wands and the queen of cups. This is very feminine, soft, nurturing, intuitive energy, okay? You know where you're going and you're not gonna let anything take you off that train, anything, right? Nothing's coming between you and your goals and your visions here, okay? And that's beautiful. And I'm getting a very kind of motherly, maternal energy here in terms of your ability to, to understand and trust your own emotions, okay? You're just not letting anything break you this week. Three cards for the advice. Three of wands in reverse, the five of swords in reverse, and the nine of swords in reverse. Stand up for yourself, okay? Five of wands there. Stand up for yourself. And if you, and don't just surrender, right? Don't just say, oh, I give up, right? There's no giving up here. Three of wands in reverse is, is Yes, you have a beautiful future plan, right? But don't hold so tightly to a particular way in which you thought something was going to work out because then you could potentially lead yourself to feel a little bit disappointed, right? But at the end of the day, this is three of wands in reverse is saying, focus on the future, but focus on the present too, okay? Focus on the, on the present too for the future is never promised, but today is. And it's beautiful to have a vision, but don't get lost in future thinking and let go of the present, okay? And now five of swords in reverse can just say like, it's not you against the world, right? You have people that are here to support you and who want to help you, right? Stop stressing out, okay? Stop the overthinking. If you need help sleeping, take things that help you sleep, right? You know, homeopathic remedies, herbs, tea frequencies like the one i have on right now for sleep time right no ads sleep frequency is so beautiful and helpful to allow you to have good rest okay turn the phone off a half an hour before you go to bed if not an hour would be really ideal and focus on your time before bed okay de-stress de-stress for sure okay aquarius that's what i have for you Moving on to Capricorn. Five cards for Capricorn. Mm. Ooh. Self love, overcoming intense, intense, like thought painful processes right yeah sleepless nights right like just intense thoughts right like harsh thoughts you're really in a place where you're overcoming your anxieties and you're putting yourself out there right 
you're putting yourself out there again, you're feeling like you can kind of take on the world again, right? This is you ridding yourself of all of the energy that zaps you of your, your like freedom, right? Zaps you of your inner essence, okay? You have temperance, the lovers, and the ten of pentacles, okay? You're kind of like, screw this, right? Screw this stress, screw this anxiety. I, I feel like I've had a blindfold on forever and this Hermit of Reverse is taking off the blindfold, right? This is a freeing energy, okay? You're like freeing yourself right now. Now, temperance is all about balance, right? This is us feeling like, okay, I'm getting some balance back in here, getting some like good harmonious energy here, right? Not overexerting ourselves, not underexerting ourselves, right? Feeling really good, feeling just calm and balanced. And now this lovers in the ten of pentacles is really bringing in an energy of of love, right? For lack of a better word, like this is just love, right? So some of you guys are connecting deeper with your partner. You are seeking out a partnership at this time. But for most of you guys, if you're already in a situation, it's looking very good for the energy this week. Ten of pentacles is having the life that we've always wanted, right? Ten of pentacles is happy life. Okay, so lots of really positive energy coming in through the week for you. The advice for Capricorn. Advice is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the Knight of Cups in reverse, and the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so this is us, like, like, it's okay to feel like you're not doing anything. It's okay to take a break from doing anything this week. And it's okay to express your vulnerabilities to people that you trust and feel like you want to discuss those vulnerabilities with. And it's okay to not like work so hard this week, right? This is us being like, I'm taking kind of a freebie week, right? I'm not gonna work so hard. I'm going to express my feelings to somebody if I'm feeling like I'm feeling a certain kind of way, right? And this vulnerability and being able to open ourselves up, even if it's scary, which is if it's gonna be a little bit scary for you with the Knight of Cups, this could be you expressing how you're feeling to somebody to really open up this kind of love train here, right? Um, that will help bring in the energy that you seek. And again, don't push yourself too hard this week. Taking breaks, taking naps, okay, it would be also be great to the Knight of Pentacles can in reverse can totally be taking a nap, right? And just not hustling. It's okay. This is one of those like free weeks. Okay, Capricorn, I hope that you maybe can not work so hard. All right, that's what I have for you. Moving on to Sagittarius. Five cards for Sagittarius. Temperance, there you are, the lovers, the ten of pentacles, the five of cups, and the hierophant in reverse, the emperor. Okay, so you're still feeling very much in your power, right? And um, you're feeling like you know you have to surrender, but you can't. And you know you have to get a different perspective, but it's hard. And it's making you like not want to make any moves, right? With this temperance card here and the lovers and the ten of pentacles. Um, uh, Capricorn also got this too, so if you feel like you want to go ahead and look at that energy for them as well, but you are, there's an energy of wanting to be in balance, right? I want to be in balance. I want love. I want all the things in life that would make one happy, right? Because this would make you happy at the end of the day, is just being in love, in balance, and having all the finer things that you would want in life, right? But there is an energy of disappointment, okay? Okay. I'll be honest, there is an energy of disappointment and feeling like either we're not in a committed relationship and we want one, or if our relationship is present, there are some things going on where you're like, why isn't my partner proposed to me? Why are we not in a committed situation yet? Why am I feeling like disappointment within this marriage connection, contract, engagement, right? Why is that feeling there? Okay, it's just there. Something that your partner's doing this week might be disrupting you a little bit, might be making you feel a little bit sad, okay? Um, maybe some of you guys didn't get accepted to a particular program that you wanted to get accepted to. So let's go ahead and pull three cards for advice for Sag. Yep. 
yeah it's okay to have options it's okay to feel weak it's okay to feel like you're out of your power right and you're not feeling like as venusian as a, an abundant as you're normally used to right the advice is to just stay in your confident energy know that you are beautiful you're attractive okay you're you're magnetic and that you are very resourceful right you're someone who has their ducks in a row you have a great foundation keep that foundation right don't spend too much this week too with the four of pentacles is keeping a hold of our budget right and page of cups in reverse is if you feel like you don't want to say certain things you don't have to say certain things right if you don't want to if you're not feeling super mushy and overly romantic you don't have to be right if someone did something to you that made you feel bad you it's okay if you hold back a little bit right it would be good if you discussed what was going on but for you to not feel like so overly romantic this week makes sense okay you are confident you're beautiful and you're strong don't forget that okay all right Sag, that's what i have for you scorpio five cards for scorpio Two of Cups in reverse, the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Empress in reverse, the Two of Wands in reverse, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so you're feeling in your power. You could also have Sagittarius placements here. The same cards came up for Sag, some of the same cards here, okay? You're feeling like nervous that everything is going to kind of fall apart and your plans are going to just lose, right? Two of Cups is fearful that the love that you have is not going to work out. The family you're wanting to have is not going to work out. The woman or man that you love is not really who they say they are and that all of your plans are going to just kind of fall apart and like, why did I even plan anything, okay? If you guys are not in a relationship, you're really worried that you're not going to find the love of your life and that everything that you want is not going to work out. And you're kind of just like, oh, I want love, but I don't have it. I want a family, but I don't have it. I want a feminine, but I don't have her and vice versa, right? Or I want to feel like I'm an empress being taken care of by somebody, but I'm not being taken care of anybody right now. And I don't see a future. I don't know what the plans are right now. The final card is be patient. Seven of Pentacles is watching our garden grow. Watch, like, hold on, breathe, patience. Plant seeds each day. If you plant the seeds, they will grow. If you don't plant the seeds, they're not going to grow, okay? And you wanna be looking out for little things each day that are showing you you're going in the right direction, okay? You're okay. Three cards for advice. Don't let those thoughts come through, right? It's okay to be nervous. It's okay to be scared, but we don't need to. Ten of Cups in reverse, Ten of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. If you're in a rush, don't rush. Don't rush, okay? you have to understand that it's not like don't lead with any kind of sexual energy okay that's going to be very important for some of you guys it's not just about the sex i'm not saying you're thinking that but knight of wands in reverse can be like sexual frustration okay except that You've been through the worst of it, right? You've been through the worst of it and that it's not about the end product here. It's not about you're focusing too much on the end goal and that's causing you like a lot of stress. The fact that you don't have this family right now, okay? You have to accept the fact that right now you don't have all of the things that you are looking for, right? And once you accept the fact that you don't have all of the things that you might want right now in this time of your life, it allows you to kind of be like, okay, I don't have it right now. 
I don't have it. I can kind of settle into that. I don't have it. I want it, right? I want it. And um, understand that you are frustrated and it is okay to be frustrated that you don't have that. Tarot is validating your frustration, but again, you. I don't want you to lead in with that where you're allowing yourself to be frustrated. The patience card here is the most important. That seven of pentacles here, right? Having patience. It'll come. It'll come. All right, Scorpio. That's what I have for you. Okay, Libra. Five cards for Libra. High Priestess in Reverse, the Eight of Wands, the Sun in Reverse, the Star, and the Devil in Reverse. Moving away from something that we feel very, we're like, I am moving on to calmer shores, right? I feel very confident in myself. I feel like I am so in control of my emotions, okay? Uh, there's something where I'm like, I just don't trust this, right? And I am moving away from something even if it's going to make me upset and sad for a little while because i know it's the right thing to do okay i know it's the right thing to do and i am not going to to let anything stop me here right and that six of swords can also be us moving to an energy of calmer shores right we we are moving to an energy of calmer shores, okay? Things are gonna start feeling better for you as long as you trust your intuition and don't let, you know, don't let that negative energy seep into you, right? We, we just, it's, everyone has the potential for that to come in and we just push it away, right? Nope, thanks for trying, not here. I don't wanna hear it, right? I know myself, I know what I'm doing. Thanks for your two cents, but. I'm good, right? I'm good. I know who I am. I know I'm a catch and I don't tolerate that kind of energy, right? Three cards for the advice for Libra. The Hermit, the Hierophant in reverse, and the Ten of Cups. You don't have to be so aggressive and forceful. The success that you really want comes from inner success, right? Inner fulfillment, right? Not from like external validation. You're very intelligent, right? You're very intelligent. And if something doesn't feel right, trust it. Ten of cups here, right? This is you knowing yourself enough that you're going against like the Hierophant in reverse is you kind of like not being by the book. You're being by your own book, following your own way, following your own path, okay? And you're you're on your way towards getting everything that you want, right? Focus on family, focus on the life that you're wanting to have, okay? Focus on the intelligence that you bring to the table and trust yourself, trust yourself, right? That's what I have for you. Okay, Virgo, five cards for Virgo. Knight of Swords, Nine of Wands, Page of Cups in Reverse, the Eight of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, we're feeling like we can overcome a lot, right? We're feeling very like strong-willed at this time, very motivated, and we feel like we've kind of have our battle scars and we're pushing through, right? We've done the work, we feel wounded, but we're still going, right? This is being tenacious, okay? Going after what we want. And there's something about like you not giving yourself to people that don't deserve your energy and not allowing yourself to like 
you could feel a little bit vulnerable in terms of your emotions this week. Like there's someone that you want to say something to, but you're nervous. And you think about this energy quite a bit, right? But you're going to have a moment of clarity this week about someone or something that you're nervous to talk to. Probably more so someone, right? You're nervous to say something to somebody. You're thinking about ways in which you can kind of go about this, thinking about how you really feel about it. And then you have a moment of clarity, okay? A moment of like, oh, okay. I understand why this is happening and I understand how I really feel at this time. Three cards for the advice. Two of Swords in reverse, Two of Pentacles in reverse, and then Knight of Wands. Yeah, there's like an energy of like defending yourself. There's an energy of... of saving a lot right now okay it's okay to feel like you're stuck it's okay to not make any moves at all right and it's okay it's okay for you to have passion about something but that doesn't mean that you have to make a decision right now Right? You don't have to make a decision immediately, but you are going to have some sort of clarity regarding a situation that you're being presented with this week, okay? Um, save that money, right? Don't make a decision if you are not, don't make any moves if you don't know what to do, right? And like, I will be honest, there's like a sexual energy coming through here too, so just keep that in mind. All right, Virgo, moving on to Leo. Five cards for Leo. Temperance, the Hanged Man, the Emperor in reverse, the Ace of Wands in reverse, and the Justice. Okay. So for some of you guys, you're feeling a little bit out of your power this week and you're kind of like a little bit bored, right? You're definitely in an energy of feeling like you're in balance and you're kind of just sitting around kind of like waiting for things to happen. But there's an energy that like this all still feels right, right? Like I might not be like in complete control over certain things in my life, right? But for the most part, I'm in a pretty good place, almost kind of so good that I'm a little bit bored and I'm in my own energy and things do just feel right, right? Things do feel right. Things feel like they're in balance and I kind of have all my ducks in a row this week. I have all my ducks in a row this week and I'm just hanging out, right? So good energy for you, Leo. Three cards for advice. Temperance again, the Page of Wands in reverse, and the Knight of Swords. Something from your past that you're feeling, you're now feeling hopeful about it, and you're moving on to calmer shores, right? You're not going to, like, let anything bother you with that, okay? For those of you regarding, like, a past situation, right, family things. The Temperance has come out again, and the advice for you is to just keep that balance going, right? Keep that very like harmonious energy of like, you've got a good groove going on and it's okay to feel a little bit insecure about a couple of things right now. Again, like a little bit out of your power, a little bit bored, but you're on the right path, right? With this Knight of Swords here, you are on your on the right path, okay? You're going in the right direction. Keep it up. Thanks. Okay, Cancer. Five cards for Cancer. Okay. 
Ace of Wands in reverse, Justice, Two of Swords in reverse, King of Swords in reverse, and Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay, so you're still feeling confident, something you're like, I can't let this go. Yeah, I can't let it go. Uh, you and your partner could be going through something this week with the Queen of Swords in reverse and the King of Cups in reverse, right? Um, this could also be parental energy, right? Your parents are kind of like getting on your nerves a little bit here or your partner and you are having like an issue this week, right? Where you're being a little bit of um, a cold, harsh person and your partner's not wanting to hear any of it, right? They're kind of like, mm, I don't want to hear any of it. I'm, I don't have any space for your intensity right now. And um, you feel like a little, there's like a moment or two where you feel like a little bit stuck this week like some, maybe some lack of intimacy, right? Lack of passion kind of impacting you, okay? Um, you're gonna resolve that. You're gonna get to the bottom of that and you are going to have an energy of like, okay, we're good, it's fine. We've got back on track, right? But um, you could have an energy of like, eh, I'm a little bit stuck, right? And if this is, if you um, don't resonate with that, right? Just be aware that, Something's gonna happen this week where you're like, I'm a little bit bored, things feel okay, but I'm feeling like a little bit stuck and a little bit emotional and a little bit like angry and irritated and cold and I'm not really sure why, right? Three cards for the advice. The sun in reverse, the fool in reverse and the six of pentacles. Focus on love. Don't focus on being right. Don't focus on being right. It's not about you getting all of the attention right now. It's okay if you feel like an idiot in this situation and what happened, right? It's not about you, okay? <sighs> Allow yourself to like receive, okay? And if you feel like you did, you were kind of in the wrong here, right? That's fine, that's fine. It's okay for us to feel like we didn't give as much as we probably could have in the situation, but you're watching this, so you'll be able to know kind of how you can deal with it, right? Just, it's not all about being right, okay? Not all about being right. All right, Gemini, five cards for Gemini. Knight of Swords, Nine of Wands, the High Priestess in reverse, the Tower in reverse, and the Four of Pentacles. Feeling a little bit out of balance, like we don't have everything that we want, right? We're in our head a little bit right now, okay? We're still determined, but we're definitely damaged and we feel like there's like a situation where we're like, we can't trust ourselves in it. I can't trust this. I don't know how to respond to this, right? I feel like things are falling apart and I don't want them to. I'm trying to just hold on to whatever sens semblance of a foundation that I have here, right? I am tired. I'm drained. I'm damaged and... I'm losing like faith in this process, okay? And I feel like everything's falling apart even though it isn't. And I'm just trying to hold on right now, okay? Three cards for advice for Gemini. Ten of Swords in reverse, the High Priestess and the Tower. So the worst is behind you, okay? You have to trust your intuition. Things are falling apart for a reason, okay? Yikes. Things are falling apart for a reason. Everything's happening according to plan. Trust it. It's over. Accept it, right? Big endings. Big endings meant to be. You knew it was going to happen. Just let it happen, okay? That's what I have for you. Taurus, five 
cards for Taurus. Temperance, Knight of Pentacles, Five of Wands in reverse, King of Swords in reverse, and the Three of Cups. Okay, so in terms of our future, we're not focusing too much on the future. We're focusing on the present, focusing on feeling like we're making a good judgment call here and that we can trust something, okay? Because we're definitely in our feels about it. Temperance here is maintaining a sense of balance and stability in our lives and taking things very slow. Taking things very slow. Slow and steady wins the race here, right? Five of Wands in reverse is us avoiding conflict. We don't want to fight. We don't want any drama. We don't want any issues. But something's coming through here that's making us a little bit angry, okay? Something's coming through making us a little bit angry. It could be the fact that we're not resonating with friends right now. It can be the fact that we feel like we don't have enough friends that really understand us, okay? But friend energy is coming through here in a sense of I'm angry and I don't want any conflict, right? And I just want balance and I want to take it slow, okay? Three cards for the advice. Your advice is the justice, the sun, and the page of cups, okay? Your advice is that you've done a lot of healing, okay? You really have, things are right, okay? Things are right, things are fair, you're happy, okay? Focus on your happiness and your joy and expressing yourself, right? Expressing yourself and your emotions, right? Being vulnerable, affectionate, effusive, right? Telling people how you feel about them in a good way, right? The advice is just to focus on what feels right, focus on your happiness, playfulness, okay? That's all I have for you. Okay. Last but not least, Aries. Five cards for Aries. Three of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, we're feeling like we made a good judgment call regarding something that we were like, I can trust this. It, you know, I, my hackles are up a little bit, but I still trust this, right? Seeing the future, feeling good, right? We might have our eye on someone or someone might have our eye on us, or we're just feeling very flirty this week, okay? We're feeling like we don't want to give too much of ourselves just yet, and we're not ready to jump into a commitment yet, okay? We're not ready for the full, you know, commitment thing right now. We're not, we don't want to jump into anything too quickly, right? But for some of us, you have a little bit of an admirer coming through here this week. And it's just in the nick of time because you're feeling so good about your future and where you're going, right? You're feeling really good. And um, just don't give too much right away i know you won't six of pen uh sorry um three cards for advice three cards for the advice ace of wands in reverse the queen of cups and the queen of swords yeah so that's what i'm saying about that ace of wands in reverse right like don't give it up right until you're sure right Queen of Cups and Queen of Swords is you being so on point with your intuition, so on point with your emotions, you're communicative, you're sharp, you know what's up, and um, yeah, you're a catch and you feel really good about that, okay? And um, yeah, don't move too quickly, okay? Just enjoy it. You're very much in your power at this time. Thanks, Aries. All right, everybody. I hope you have a lovely week and I will see you the following week. Bye-bye.